Hey, this is Nate. Uh, you can also call me Nathan, but please never call me Nathaniel. And I just want to um, introduce this uh, recent run that I had on stream. Uh, it was a little fade melting remnant exile build um, and not a firelight build. It's a little Icarus build. Uh, I don't normally go a little Icarus, but when you get Awoken as your secondary clan, as I mentioned um, during the run, um, it makes a lot of sense. You can get uh, a lot of spikes, uh, synergies going with some of the relics. Um, we actually didn't get any of the, <laughs> the spikes relics during the run, uh, but there were some other synergies that are also quite good. Um, this was the biggest little fade I've ever had um by far i think by the end it was something like 350 health and i don't know mid 80s maybe 70s to 80s damage and then almost 300 spikes uh certainly higher than uh you normally would ever see with a uh, little fade uh, so how did that happen i think there's a combination of a lot of things one of them is uh very early on prioritizing kills onto little fade um it certainly helped we got you know, early trials where you have units uh, appearing on every floor at the beginning. That helps to get a lot of early kills. Uh, I even restarted a few battles because I was not properly setting things up with Little Fade. There was one battle I had to restart a couple times. I know some of you don't like restarts. I had to restart a couple times because um, I kept letting things die that shouldn't have. Uh, but, you know, ignoring some of those weird oddities, uh, I think it showcases how important it is to get those early, early kills get that early spikes damage, uh, especially before Daedalus or um, Talos, because that becomes very important in making sure Little Fade consistently gets kills through the rest of the run, which uh, because of our early advantage, we were able to do. The other thing that's quite good that this showcases is the combination of Little Fade uh, plus Adaptive Mutation. Uh, so Adaptive Mutation is a little bit of a weird card to try to use. It's not always super great. There's a few combinations like with the Angriest Prince build or with the Nameless Sirens or any type of rage. Then it's quite good. Uh, this is a non-rage use. Uh, what it ends up doing is uh, Little Fade as she's gaining uh, permanent stacks due to her champion upgrade, um, she gets a lot of damage. Uh, the problem is she's very, very vulnerable. So then you get Adaptive Mutation. You have something like a Little Fade with Again, uh, between 200 and 300 damage, that becomes two to 300 health with two to 300 spikes. And uh, yeah, nothing's really gonna be surviving that. Um, and what's really cool about this build is that it was a Seraph the Chase build, which again, spikes and chase, you, you really wanna avoid spikes when going against chase. But uh, uh, with a build like this, with Little Fade, um, letting her die a few times, waiting to do the adaptive mutation until Relentless, um, you can take advantage of all of the stat increases and she gets the spikes, she never loses them. Um, so I think this is a really overall solid run. Uh, again, uh, excluding the few restarts, I think it's a really good way to showcase how you can make a little Icarus work. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. We'll do another analysis. We really got some pretty crappy units. Uh, this is a very different build. I mean, there's Firelight, but I feel like Firelight's kind of obvious. When you have... I'll, uh, awoken though spikes could be really good maybe we go with a spikes build especially with sacred wicks as well mix it up and do a do a uh ooh ooh but seraph the chaste the thing with seraph the chaste though is that as long as little fade dies we don't really care because he comes back or she comes back with all of her spikes even if she gets cleansed so it's actually the one time when spikes are still okay against Seraph the Chaste. Um, this is going to be Armor Fell. No, Rage Fell. Rage Fell is also fine. Double Explosives is also fine. I think this is a solid Icarus build if we get the chance. Um, I think Emblem here is really good. And then, yeah, Icarus. So, some things about Icarus. You can't start armor. Like, it's mandatory that you skip any armor trials. Enemies appear on each floor, though, is great. Because you're guaranteed to kill at least one. And then you can keep bringing her back. And you'll probably prevent most of the damage. So, we put Little Fade up top. We kill the first one. Um, I like getting Train Stewards behind up here. We can even, yeah, do something like this. So we kill one, 
Then when we reform, we should be able to kill two. It's not who we wanted. Certainly not who we wanted. Uh, hold on. Let's 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 guarantee it. Let's not mess around. Let's make sure we get as many kills on to Icarus as or Little Fate as possible. And you guys are both gonna die. We're just not gonna we're just not gonna play you. It's too important to make sure she comes back. Getting these early kills it makes this run. Like if you don't do it, you just lose. So we're killing two more. Yeah, Emblem of Exiles with little Icarus. Then she'll start killing everything. She's gonna die from burnout after this, which is perfect. And again, we just we don't we can put a train steward up here. But it's like it's so risky to let her stay alive or to not let her die. Uh, we will get to reform her. And she's got a lot. She's got a lot going for her. Uh, 16 is enough to almost kill. We bring her back and she kills the boss. Um, yes. He'll die to her spikes. Cool. So we got... Wow. We got uh, 16 kills on floor one. That's pretty... A ring one. That's pretty insane. That's a lot of very, very early kills. Um... I think Memories of the Melted here. We get it permafrosted, and then we can get a huge spell out later. It's just a question of do we even need that much Ember for anything. I mean, certainly right now we don't. Maybe Wicklash is better. Wicklash is going to be really good with the drafts. I don't really like Hallow Drippings here. I think we take the Wicklash. Uh, uh, I think we skip. So we're gonna go. We're gonna. Whoa, hold on. We're gonna prioritize. Oh my gosh, I've got like crazy crap all over my shirt. Um, we're gonna prioritize. What am I? What am I even saying? We're gonna prioritize trinkets because it's very, very, very important that we get as many spike trinkets and uh, as we possibly can. So now the question is, do we? What kind of unit do we want? What we want is, uh, we want something that we can greed off of a harvest unit. Wickless Tycoon is like exactly the kind of thing I was thinking about, and we just want health. We want lots and lots of health on him. Um, Multi Strike is dangerous. He might accidentally start killing stuff, and we don't really want him to kill anything. So I think this was perfect. Basically. All you could ask for. We're go we'll go for a unit draft here. Yes. Extra damage should not be a problem. With 33 starting... Yeah, Dot Mutation would also be really good. With 33 starting spikes, we're going to do it like this. And I think then... Something like that looks okay. It's unfortunate that we're not going to be able to get the second kill immediately. But I think it's okay. I mean, we are just not by a little fade. But then after that, we should be okay. Well, we'll at least get we'll get at least one kill per turn here. And yeah, toss another one up there. It's fine. All right, bring her back again. Now we're killing both front two enemy units. And as much as I want to play the draft, I think it's just so risky. But it's like free coins. I think it's okay. I think we can afford it. It's 10 free coins. Yeah, cool, cool. We got we got both back. Uh, so let me play it like this. You're killing the back unit. You're almost killing the boss. If we put, let's see, she's got three burnout. Um, if we put the draft up front, mm, I think we just put the draft here, and then it's probably going to die. 
Now we just have to make sure Little Fade gets the kill. Let's uh, count this out. So... 39 plus 63 is enough damage to kill the boss. That's over 100. We're good. She'll get the kill. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, molded could alleviate our issues with uh, the random ones, but I think we have enough. I think, I think we're fine. If we trim out a lot of the other stuff, we should be okay. Um, I don't really like Sharpen. I don't really like Ensnare. Well, do I like Ensnare? What are we at right now? 41 spikes. Ensnare could be interesting. She'll cleanse, or sorry, he'll cleanse the Ensnare. It's probably not worth it. I think we're, I think we want to just focus on making sure we can reform. Do we want any of this stuff? I mean, we could have a Thorn Hollow as like back up on the top, on the top floor. Use all of our restores on it. Yeah, I think it's okay. We might have issues later uh, with killing things, but uh, as I said, we're gonna focus on trinkets. We have no stings, and we have no two units. I think we just take the money. Skip. Purge a card, gain a card. So we can remove a train steward. And what do we get? Definitely going to be an Awoken card. Cycle of Life. Yeah, okay. One Cycle of Life seems fine. We needed to reduce the cost of it for sure so we can play it. But uh, that can help Little Fade to get a lot of... Oh my gosh, how did I get so much crap on my shirt? Drive me crazy. Alright. So we'll get one here. Get you there. Get you here. Oh, you're going to die right away. That's actually not what we wanted to see. Uh, but we'll play it out. Maybe we get lucky here. We did. Um, can play you. You're killing two of them. Can play a couple of you up here. We need to get lucky again. Please get lucky again. We got lucky again. Uh, this kills everything. And she actually has enough spikes to kill everything. That's going to be three kills on her. That's fantastic news. Uh, we can do this. I mean, that was a guarantee. We should get Sacred Wicks soon. Ideally, we get Sacred Wicks at the same time we get... Oh, it's not great. It's not great. It's not awful, though. We can play her up top. And then I think we're okay. Although we did just lose a train steward, so that doesn't really help our chances that much. Oh no, we're guaranteed. That's that's the best possible way to do this. You're gonna kill everybody. That's really good. Let's get you out here. Uh, let's bring back the other one just to also die, I guess. Um, yeah, you're gonna kill them too. Cool. Wow, we got a lot, a lot of value out of that. Uh, please. Please? Did not get it. They are, oh no, Little Fade's there. That's why she didn't come back. I was like, uh, that's not good. Uh, get you in here. Hit you with one of those. And then we can still fit Little Fade here. She is not going to burn out right away, which is not ideal. Um, she will burn out next turn. Let's bring back this and keep it in our hand. That's got to be better than the alternative. Um, we can give you a little bit of healing. We're not going to do a whole lot here. And that's probably it. Do we even play another train steward? I don't think so. So we're going to have to get really lucky here. We need, a, we need a hit little fade in order to get the kill here. And uh, we didn't get anything. We're just going to die. Let's try it again. Oh, man. That Thorn Hollow was an awful, awful play. I mean, that really killed our momentum here. Um, so we're 
is that you just don't play Thorn Hollow. That's that's the thing. And then you're fine. If you don't play Thorn Hollow, you're fine for the rest of the fight. I kill everything here. Um, you don't even play any train stewards. It's probably better just not to play anything at all. You can bring back Little Fade. Kill the whole floor. It's all very good news. Um, do this. And this is where you kind of get a little sad, but we know that we can play Little Fade up top, so it's like not as bad. It's where you play Little Fade. Wreck this whole floor. I think uh, I think playing a draft here is okay. Just to get some um, coins. Little Fade kills both of them. Which is basically what you want to see. We can get uh, Thorn Hollow up here. Uh, the draft is kind of sketch. A train steward here seems okay. And we want to bring back whatever this is and keep it in our hand. Okay, so Little Fade should be coming back. There's a really high chance of it. We should be restoring this uh, Thorn Hollow if we were smart. And, you know, of course, why would we actually draw uh, a re... That's, the, that's just awful. It's really, really bad. How do we... How do we get... How do we not keep getting the uh, primitive mold on that last turn? It's so bad. It's so awkward. Um, hmm. Hmm. What if we do something like this? Get these guys out. So that uh, maybe we can put her here. Get these two guys up here. Something like that. And try to kill everything on the bottom floor instead. That might be a little bit better. We can do something like this. Um, restore you. Maybe even toss in a, a drag instead. There we go. Now you're dying to them and killing everything, which is really good news. We can keep healing you up. We did lose a train steward, so ideally we get Sacred Wicks right now. We did. It's really good. We can get... Okay. We keep these guys in the hand. Yeah, I'm having a really bad time. I mean, I had a really bad time in the first run too, but it's fine. It's fine. We just make it work. Now it seems to be much better, because we get to, you know, not bring back Little Fade, because why would you? But uh, Little Fade should be coming back on the second floor. If we're lucky. There's the Tycoon. There's Little Fade. Should be enough to kill the... It's not. Why would it be enough to kill the boss? That would be absolutely ridiculous. We can block a hit here, though. And then maybe it's enough. You're dying to burn out. You know, we take it. <laughs> take the kill. Um, there's Adaptive Mutation. Seems pretty strong. Um, especially with Little Fade starting with 63 damage. That's going to be pretty good. Uh, we don't take any of this. And it's definitely draw. After that last, uh, that last set of turns, I really want draw. Um... I want removal as well. I don't think we're going to take whatever banner unit this is, but you never know. 
I also want to get rid of the drafts. They're actually not very good. Yeah, I just don't think we need more. Uh, we can get something for the Thorn Hollow. And plus 10 in spikes seems okay. Endless on the Thorn Hollow might actually be. A, actually, Endless on a draft. Endless on a draft. Then we don't have to get rid of it. Um, get plus 10 damage on that same draft. And then purge the train steward. Yeah, that was huge. Getting rid of all those cards is going to be really, really strong for us. Um, go all in on the licorice. And I mean, the goal here is to get 120, right? And we're already halfway there, and we're on ring four, so we're we're in really good shape. Um, spell shield should be fine. We don't do any damage with spells. Uh huh. So we have two chances to get cycle of life and adapt mutation. I think we take it. I think we do something like this. Get the endless one up here. Get thorn hollow just to be here. Because now we at least guarantee we get that. And if we get adapted mutation, then we're like really killing it. Um, yeah, that's really good. We don't have any damage, but uh, we do have a little fade that's basically never going to die. Um, maybe should have played this on the bottom. So, we're not doing quite enough damage yet. Maybe after a few more kills we'll be fine though. Just keep playing this guy. Keep restoring your health. Now how are we doing? I think we might have just gotten enough out of that. Yeah, we did. We got just enough out of that to uh, make it work. Let's keep putting these guys in there. And this is starting to look a lot better. Uh, that's not helping. <laughs> uh, we could give you Wicklash. I don't think it's that great. I think better would be to put you out there and give you Wicklash. And then heal you up a bit. I'm gonna take some more damage here. Certainly not what you want to see. Um, I think we're okay for bosses. Yeah, yeah, we're really good and relentless. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so that was much smoother. If we can guarantee getting the adaptive mutation or the cycle of life early, I think we're totally fine. Let's skip here. And skip here as well. But this is looking a lot smoother now. Um, we prioritize trinkets. We really want to get... Uh, not cursed vines. And then we skip all this. Let's remove this draft. And I kind of don't like the restoration detonations. Let's see what we get for spells now. Minus one on cycle of life. That's pretty guaranteed. Um. Making the restores more restory. It's kind of strange. Maybe we go with adaptive mutation to flip during relentless, and we don't flip at the beginning. Let's make cycle of life free. Uh, double stack wicklash. It actually seems okay. A one cost wicklash that adds four burnout is actually pretty good. Uh, the main reason why is that we want to use it on Little Fade for Relentless. So get, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be fine. Multi-Strike's actually ideal. So, play that. Let's put you up top. There you go. Bring her back. Gonna kill her. 
there. Then bring her back. And we can we can actually do both. See what I like is I like doing this first and then flipping so we get more damage out of her, base damage out of her. Which seems really good. Um, extra Wicklash. Extra spikes, extra damage. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, let's get you in here just to be there. Um, kill you up. We should be fine for Relentless now. Just give you all the regen. 110. 130 HP. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Now you should be getting the kill. Very cool. So how much? 100... Okay, so we've done a lot of kills. This is actually really good. Combustible Wax is great. Uh, skip. Um, Channel Song is kind of interesting. Bramble Lash is also kind of interesting. What did we put Permafrost on? We put Permafrost on Adaptive Mutation. That makes a lot of sense. I think we don't take Bramble Lash. I don't think we need that much burst. So here's how I'm seeing this play out. We play a little fade, uh, during specifically during Seraph. So we play a little fade. Um, we let her die basically until Relentless. And we keep that adaptive mutation just for Relentless. Then we can bring her back, bring her back, bring her back. Because I think if we do it too early, we lose all the spikes damage, which is like most of where her damage is going to come from. Um, I really like another removal. What would we get rid of? We would get rid of uh, Restoration Detonation and probably a Primitive Mold. If we go with Spells, uh, we probably minus cost on Wicklash, minus cost on Adaptive Mutation. Maybe that's better. Plus we get the Concealed Caverns and that can always be something worthwhile. Uh, I don't think the holdover on the Wicklash makes sense. I don't think holdover on anything makes sense. Remove consume. Is remove consume from adaptive mutation good? I don't think so. I think we just want it to be cheaper. And then we get from what do we get from the concealed caverns? We get artifact. It's fantastic. Let's uh let's pay coins. Okay. I mean that's great. That means more health, right? Every time Little Fade dies now, she gets ten extra health. Which is really, really good. Uh, the more she can tank, the more likely we are to kill the bosses. This is a really, really solid setup now. So we let her die. This does not keep her alive. But it does kill the backliner. We'll put... Uh, we can put Wickles Tycoon here. Get some money out of it at least. Okay, how are we doing? We can bring her back. She got 16. So she's gonna kill the first two units, and then he'll kill the third unit. And there's not really a good way, but let's give him extra give her extra damage. And let's toss in this Thorn Hollow as like a backup. Uh, with one guy loose, I, I it's not for my Feeling it's not enough to like justify going crazy about swapping floors here. I think um, doing a restoration detonation there plus a heal might already be enough. We can get this draft in here for fun if we want. Maybe we even. I don't know. Start healing you. I, it doesn't really matter. Let's do this. I don't want to. I don't want to do the adaptive mutation yet. I think we're still okay to keep stacking and letting her die. Um, she's got four burnout. She's gonna get a wicklash soon. Maybe it's okay. Maybe we do swap now. 
Because that's that's a lot. Let's not get greedy. As I like completely, you know, counter my own statements. But she should be she should be unkillable at this point. Um just need to give her plenty of burnout. Which is not a hard task at all. Uh give you more. Give you some health, give you some more regen. This is all looking very, very solid. Start playing you out for fun. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. And if that wasn't enough, then we can even add more damage and burnout. So, and I think there's no chance with this Tycoon gets the kill here. Solid, solid stuff. I mean, this is a this is really really a good run. Remnant Pact. Versus Sacrificial Resurrection. Um, Awoken's Rail Spike. Uh, I think none of this is that great. Who would we put Endless on? I guess we could put Endless on the Harvest Tycoon. So he sticks around for a while, but I feel like that's just not worth it. I think we'd rather have her uh, brought back with a Primitive Mold. And I just don't think Re Awoken's Rail Spike is that good either. I think we just skip. And... Now I'm like... Do we get extra space? Because we can fit all of them. Six capacity. Now I think we just get more draw. I don't know. I mean, I feel like none of those are really necessary. But draw seems like the best. Uh, we're absolutely going to go trinkets here. Spikes, man. We just got to get the spikes trinkets. Not get them. But we do have a... Did we have any X costs? We have no X costs. That's, we had the chance for an X cost. We didn't take it. I think Sap Tap makes a lot of sense. Um, let's reroll. Rage is like whatever. It's certainly the best of those three. Flicker's Liquor just doesn't make sense in a build like this. Fade's First Blade. It just doesn't seem that relevant. It's going to be six extra damage, four extra damage after you start accounting for the reduction. Four extra damage each turn. It's, it's not going to make a difference. Let's save our money. Save our money and uh, go into the last fight without any of this garbage. Um... Save our money and go into the last fight so that we can uh, buy more trinkets later. Because we really, we really just want... Oh my gosh, we have this is one of the best Icarus builds I've ever done. We're going to easily get over 200. Yeah, armor is not a big deal at all. We're doing 150 base spike damage, which is insane. Um, we're going to get you up top. You are certainly going to die now. You are probably additionally going to die here. Although, we could do a swap, but we don't need to. We can bring her back. So given that we can already bring her back, let's give her more damage. And then part of me is like, does it make sense to get Thorn Hollow in here just to do anything? And the answer, I think, is no. I think we get the draft up here. I do. I am sad we don't get the collector, but times are tough. Uh, so little fade's not living. We can actually we can cycle of life, and we're basically guaranteed. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We we'd have to not. We'd have to hit so bad. Like, we'd have to hit such such a bad setup here to not get it. Uh, can we get Thorned Hollow and keep it alive? I don't think so. So we don't risk it. Make sure that they're all dying. Um, bring back Little Fade. 164 spike damage. So you're not dying. Which is not really what we want to see here. Uh, I think this is time, though, to, to flip. Yeah, I think it's time to flip. So we flip you. 
give you Wicklash. We're going to take some damage. That's kind of the cost of uh, playing this. And then uh, her attacking should be enough to kill most of these fools. Get rid of you. And restore. This is where... Okay, this floor is fine. This floor is... This is, this is the scary floor. But I think if we get the draft in here, the 60 extra damage... Eh, it's not great. Cycle of Life helps a bit. We have 195 spike damage. I think we're fine, actually, now. It's close. It's very, very close. Yeah, this is one of the biggest little fades ever. She is very, very strong. Um, nothing much to say about it. She's just... Uh, very strong. Uh, she has plenty of burnout. And she'd be killing fools. She's gonna. She's gonna end up with uh, 218 base spike damage, which is absolutely ludicrous. Uh, we skip. Now awake actually seems pretty good. I think it's either Awake or Focus Growth, and I think it's Awake. I think we get Awake, we minus two from it. We hope that that same side has a Duplicate. No matter what we're doing, we are minusing cost on Awake. That is going to happen. Um, I don't think we need want to double stack anything. I don't even think we want plus 10 magic power on anything. We just want minus uh, cost on that. And then... So hammer chest plates. We certainly aren't going to get memorial fund. Hammer chest plates. No spikes. Well, that's not what you want to see. I think we just trim out cards now. Uh, I mean, we can double stack a. No, we're not going to double stack anything. We're going to minus cost on awake. We are going to remove. Uh, Restoration Detonation, we're going to remove Sacred Wicks, we're going to remove one Primitive Mold, and we are going to hold over a Primitive Mold and play it every time it comes up. Um, Maybe it's awake. So okay, so here's how it's gonna go down. We're gonna we're gonna let Little Fade die, basically until Relentless. This guy is gonna make it to the pyre. Life's tough. We're gonna do something like this. We're gonna do a restore to draw. Put that out there just for funsies. Okay. This guy is going to get killed by... Okay, that's three of them now. Uh, if we add... Plus so you're going you're gonna to die to the, to the uh, Thorn Hollow here. Um, draft. I think Spikes kills all of them. It does not. We're gonna have another kill by uh, the Thorn Hollow here. Bring back Little Fade. Little Fade's killing everybody. That's basically what you want to see. We restore twice. We use an Awake to keep her alive. Uh, our uh, Harvest Baron is just hanging on by the skin of his teeth. But now we are starting to make headway here. Um, still keep stacking. And this is great. So she's gonna come, he's going to come down, take out half our spikes, make us real sad. Um, we got to keep you alive. Uh, you are going to die here. We need to get as much 
damage on you as possible. We can't do the flip yet. We have to wait until you're dead. Let's uh, do this and this. She's going, or he's going to uh, flip it here. We can bring back Little Fate again. I'm going to play you here. We're going to go Cycle of Life to keep you alive. Awake to keep you alive. I'm going to let that do its thing. Okay, last turn before Relentless, which means that now we can do the flip. And this seems like the perfect time to do it. 328 health. Seems pretty good. Let's do this now. And then we do the flip. So we're going to go into this with 270 spikes, 328 health. And I, you know, I haven't done the math. I'm fairly certain this is going to be enough to survive. Uh, by some miracle, the Steel Wings is surviving. Congratulations to you. Um, we could, if we wanted to be spiteful. Oh, wait, actually, we can. So what we can do is we can put you out. Oh, we can't do it. I was thinking we could uh, give it, but we can't. So so we just do this. And cycle of life. Very, very cool. I mean, that's a, that is a thick... Thick little fade. 113 damage. 348 health. 18 burnout. 297 spikes. So that represents in one turn almost 900 spikes damage. It's certainly going to be 900 by the time that uh, these two die. So more than 900 spikes damage. This is 1,000 damage in one little fade. With basically not really that many buffs. This is almost just pure her stats. Like, we've done a little bit of damage buffs with Licklash, but certainly not to the level that, you know, that, that it's making as much of a difference. This, this is one of the biggest Little Fades, Icarus Little Fades I've ever seen. Wow. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. And that's without any spike relics. You know, then you manage, imagine you get like, um, you imagine you get uh, the crucible, and you get the um, what's it called? You get the. Gnarled Root. Gnarled Root, the Petrified Crucible, and then it's just like out of control, right? That That's an extra 300 damage. And then the spikes are dealing double damage. Then it's just like insane. But even like we didn't, didn't get any of the spikes synergy. We did get Emblem of Exiles, which did help a little bit, but that was just, that was just the nuts. Really, really solid build there.